Uh, I'm not sure. I got a call. I'm calling back. Give me case file number so I can go up up in your information in my system. Yeah, uh, it's CS5698V2. Give me a first and last name. Um, yes, Neil and blow me. Can you spell out? N-E-I-L, and my last name is spelled A-N-E-I-O. -E L, L as in Lima. N -E -I -N -E Neil, last name? Yeah, and blow me. A-N-B-L-O-W-M-E. G-L-O. B as in boy, L as in Lima, O-W-M-E. And blow yes, me. Okay, and Neo, this is Austin Black. Yes. Yes, Neo, this is Austin Black. I'm calling from legal department of U.S. Treasury Internal Revenue Service. The reason I'm calling you in for me regarding there is the criminal case file against your name. So do you have a criminal attorney for yourself? No, I've never been in trouble in my life. Neo, who is handling your tax? You filing your taxes every year on time? Um, yes, always on time. I, I get my returns. I, I, I have a very simple job. Who is signing your taxes of 2014 and 2015? That would, that would be me. I do my own taxes. It's very your easy. It's very easy. You're filing your taxes yes, yourself? Yes. You're filing your taxes yourself or yes. your accountant? No, I don't need an accountant. I have a very simple job. Okay. 2014 and 2015 and 2016, Neo, you're doing a mistake from a tax file regarding not, your not taxes. I couldn't you're have not filing your taxes Sir, properly. Did, did you just say 2016? 2014 to 2016. Well, in 2000, you well first you said 2014 and 2015, but 2000 2014 and 2015 and 2016. Well, okay. 2016, I got an extension. I used the WD-40. I got the extension, and I don't have to do that until 2018 taxes. I got the extension on the WD-40. But right now. 2016, you getting the WDFD, no, you the, getting the extension, but right. No, but it said that I got the Sorry? W. I have the the blue and yellow paper, the slippery one, the WD40 form, and then I used it with the F250 and the F350. But then I went to the, I went to the IRS office, and they gave me a 10W40. Um, or a 1040W with the less viscosity, and they gave me 1030. But they said that the 30 weight oil was good enough. Okay. But I'm talking about 2014 and 2015. Okay. And regarding your tax fraud, there is a criminal case filed against your name. Did you just say name. fraud? I never frauded anybody. If anything, I made a mistake. It's not fraud. Hello? All right. Hello? Yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm just a little concerned. Okay. Okay. So if you are concerned about this thing. Oh, this isn't Officer Brown, is it? Uh, no, I'm the investigating officer right now. Oh, I was talking. My name is Robert Matthews. He just transferred this call to me. All right, Robert Matthews, because I was talking to Austin Brown. Austin Black. Black. Oh, I'm sorry. Black. I'm sorry. Yeah, so uh, at this stage, what exactly you need to do, sir? Because uh, your call has been transferred to me by uh, saying that you have some questions about this case. So, well, I don't. I, well, no. Before he, we start he, an illegal. He hasn't, he hasn't told me. He said that it was the year 2014 to 2016. But in 2016's mm. taxes, I got an extension with the WD-40, the blue and the yellow paper. Well, uh, and the extension okay. went on to the F-250 and the F-350. Okay, but uh, do you know the amount right now that is outstanding under your name? No. For which you have got an extension? No. Okay. So if you had received some papers from the uh, Internal Revenue Service, so in, 
in that papers the amount was been mentioned right what, what, so, what, or don't what, you remember the amount what papers now the thing is here uh right now the amount that still shows outstanding under your name this is all including the penalties late payments processing fees and the interest rate up till now that total goes to six thousand three hundred and eighty one dollars point fifty cents that six three eight one that's impossible how much money hello yes how much money six six thousand three hundred and eighty one dollars point fifty cents okay. and that's for what year All right. was, what year was that 2014 and 2016 well it can't be 2016 because that hasn't gone through yet that hasn't been that hasn't gone no the extension yet. is cancelled now the extension which you have uh, got it has been cancelled it has been revoked well, by us okay because the amount that is outstanding under your name, you have to clear it in, on the immediate well, basis. Well, then I didn't. You won't be able to but, do that. All right. The, but the thing is, I if you say it's canceled, all right, fine, it's canceled. But still, I haven't paid taxes for 2016 yet. So it doesn't really matter because you couldn't have you couldn't have done an audit we'll on 2016. We'll see if it if because nothing if it has doesn't been matter filed. for you. If it, it it matters for us right now, and I'll make you one thing very clear, okay? At okay. this stage, IRS commissioner and the court have decided to file a financial criminal case <laughs> against your name for cheating the government, and that is a charge of a tax evasion. Are you, the sure, you, you, the, are you sure you got the name right, Neil and Suckett? Well, I'll do one thing. If you, no, if you want, then I can just send the uh, local sheriff of your town to arrest you. Let them verify your ID first. Let them prove you with all the legal documentations that is against your name. And once they prove you guilty... And uh, then you might be having a better idea if you want. Right. Okay, if you think I, I so, don't, I don't want right to get person. in trouble. I'm I don't talking want, to right I now. Don't Do you want... think we guys are fully here to call you back? Sorry? I don't want to get in trouble. I, I don't want I don't want any problems. I mean, if I made a mistake, I might have made a mistake. I mean, uh, what, well, then what do I have to do? So do why I... haven't you clear? Like, you tell me what exactly you need to do. because at You the tell stage, me what I, I need to do. And the court have you, you tell me what I need to do. Uh, I, hello? Yes, I'm here. Yeah. First of all, I'll make you a few things very clear, okay? Listen to me very carefully. At this stage... Hello? Yes, I'm here. I'm listening. Are you talking to me or are you, are, are you with someone right now? Who's no, talking I'm, all, you? I'm all alone. Just the TV is on. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I had a commission on the co to file a financial criminal case against your name for cheating the government and there is a charge of a tax evasion. The moment you hung up this call, automatically the system on which we are having this conversation right now will immediately generate the arrest warrant against your name. Wherever you are, the local sheriff and the IRS officers of your local town will be coming to your current location while tracking your phone number. Before they arrest you, they will be showing you the paperwork and the evidence that is against your name. The moment they prove you guilty, as per the court orders, they need to arrest you and put you in jail for at least one year. For what? Which is a non I haven't even gone warrant. to court yet. I haven't even been accused of... You're just saying this, and I haven't even... I, I don't know anything. This is the now, first I've heard of uh, anything. Immediately, internal... Immediately, internal revenue services will, will be freezing your bank account, investment funds, your property, if you have any. So do you have any further questions before I send the sheriff in the next 20 minutes to arrest you? The on-field officers of your town to arrest you within the next 20 minutes? I just asked you a question. And you, I just asked you a question and you didn't answer my question. What do I have to do to rectify the situation? Well, you tell me what exactly. Well, if you want to rectify the situation right now, I can't see any such option where you can rectify the situation. Because I'll just, go, to the, I'll just go over to the IRS the office. Okay? I can just go to the IRS office and pay. So, uh, well, first of all, I'll make you one thing very clear. Internal Revenue Service is no longer handling your case papers, okay? So even if you go them, go to them right now, they will directly arrest you, okay? You cannot, like, you know, make any payment directly to the IRS office right now. The, the chance is gone to pay directly to the IRS headquarters office, okay? Now, the thing is here, you tell me what exactly is a clear intention now, because uh, even if in case you choose to make any payment right now, you cannot make any payment to me over the phone we cannot ask you any private information right now because your informations are very confidential for you as well as for us 
Well, I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I, I, if I got to pay this money, I got to pay it. All right. Now, the thing is here, well, for that, if in case you need a chance, okay, I'm not sure you will be getting a chance, not. But I can try and do one last thing for you, okay? I can try and speak to the investigating officer. His um, name is Adam Jones, who is the signing authorization of your paperwork. If he's, uh, like, if your records, if your past records are found to be clean, in that way, we will decide whether he should give you a chance or not, okay? He will revert. So, but you should be very sure from your end because you are on the federally recorded line. You have to be very sure. Are you sure you want to get this matter resolved or still you want me to proceed the matter legally and send the on-field officers of your town to arrest you? Well, I mean, I don't understand why I'd be arrested, cause I, I, but I just want to get this over with. I, I, I got too much too okay. much at stake here. Okay. So what I'll do is for you, okay, uh, I can just try and uh, speak to the investigating officer, okay? You have to stay online for a moment. The line will go blank for a few seconds. So make sure we don't face any disconnection. If in case we face any disconnection at any point of time from your end, you don't have to call us the back again. Is dedicated. You directly have to face the legal action and wait for the officers to arrest you. I won't so hang make up. Sure. I won't hang up. Yeah, stay. Yeah, that's good. So stay online for a moment, okay? And one more thing. As per, uh, like there are two rules and regulations which you need to follow. The first rule, as I've said you, you cannot hang up the phone call. So you know it very well what will happen next. And the second rule is that, okay, as per section 128, code of conduct 1998, Subsection B, information that has been given to you right now regarding your arrest warrant and regarding the charges of tax evasion. All these informations are highly confidential information. Sharing and discussing information regarding this issue to any third person, whoever it is, it will be taken as a criminal offense. And if in case you are found out disclosing this information to any third person right now, uh, this call will be automatically hung up by the local authorities of your town and this time the court will increase your jail period from next one year till next five years so make sure don't try to put yourself into a big legal trouble as of what you're right now by disclosing this information to any third person okay all right okay so you need to stay online for a moment okay the line will go blank for a few seconds so don't think i've hung up on you and uh, let me check with the investigating officer what they need to see okay Okay. And one more thing, Neo. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. The investigating officer will be running your information in the national checking database, okay? If the records are found to be clear on that basis, he will revert. And uh, if he's ready to give you a chance or not, okay, that depends on him. So I need to ask you some certain questions, okay? The first question is, have you ever been picked up before from any state police or sheriff department in your past? No. Okay, uh, and have you filed for any bankruptcy or foreclosure in your past? No. Do you have any judgment against you? No. Okay, now thanks for answering those questions right now. The investigating officers wants to run your information in the national checking database, okay? <coughs> okay. Let me check with him, okay? Let me see what exactly they need to say. Okay. If your records are found to be clear, let's hope for the best. You might get a chance, okay? I'm not sure about that. Okay. I hope so. Yeah, the stay on. All yeah, right. the stay on land for a moment, okay? Thank you. Are you still there? Yes. Okay, I thought I lost you. No, I'm still here. Okay. <sighs> Sir, I gotta go outside. Yes. No, I'm staying connected with you, but I just but... Ha I have to go outside. I yeah, have, but take your phone along I with will, you, okay? I will, I Make have, sure about I have that. to feed the goats. All right, hold on. Sorry? I have to feed my goats while I talk to you. I haven't fed them yet. Yeah, so just take your phone along with you and make sure we don't face any no, disconnection, okay? we're here, we're here. I'm right out front. Whoop. Yeah. 
Come here, goats. Come here. Come here, goats. Come here, goats. Yeah, here you go. Here you go. Good boys, good boys. How many goals do you have? Five. They're really nice. No, I asked you how many goats do you have? Five. Five goats. Okay. Yeah. Give me some uh, one more, one or two minutes more, okay? I'm just waiting it's for the right. information. I, I, I have to feed them. I'm feeding them right now. Yeah, but try to make sure we don't fit in our No, I have okay? you in my, blue, my Bluetooth in my ear. I have a Bluetooth speaker okay. in my ear. Good guys. Come here. Come here. No, no, no. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. It's okay. Let me check your hooves. Come here. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Now, the investigating officer has just checked your information in the national checking database and the records are found. To be clear right now. And he is ready to give you a chance, but only on one condition. Whatever is the bill amount that is outstanding under your name, you have to clear it today itself in order to cancel your arrest warrant. So are you sure you have this kind of funds with you in your possession? Yeah, I mean, I have to come the, up for this amount and get this. Funds? I have the money. That's not the problem. It's just I never heard anything about this. Okay. You know, I have the money. Yeah, I understand that. And one more thing. Now the thing is, here, even if in case you choose to make any payment right now, you don't have to make any payment to me over the phone okay because i am not authorized to accept your any private information that is your debit card credit card or any of your banking details because all these informations are very confidential for you as well as for us so we cannot disclose your any private information over this phone call okay all right hold on come on get away now. guys hold on wait. i'm trying to push the goats away wait a minute like, it's okay all right okay all right. no it's okay it's okay i'm right. sorry so uh, okay. Now the thing is, you uh, like you ha you have this kind of amount with you in uh, like like how far is your bank? Uh, like you have where exactly you have what this amount you... with you right now? Well, I mean, I have I don't know my bank check, debit card, credit card. I don't know what. Okay. However, I gotta pay it. No, but uh, you should you should exactly know where you have this kind of funds with you, right? You have. Do you have it in your bank account or like do you have I have it? well I just explained to you I have a checking account I have credit cards okay, okay. I have debit card I don't I, I don't, don't have the cash Okay Okay I understand that now the thing is here I'll explain you how you have to make the payment okay Now listen to me very carefully all right Now okay. recently internal revenue services have introduced a new mode of payment for all the taxpayers who are running behind on their taxes who has an arrest warrant on their name Now have you heard about the tax payment card before this? A no. tax payment card. Tax payment card? No, not at all. Okay, now these are the tax payment card which has been newly introduced by the Internal Revenue Services for those taxpayers who has an arrest warrant on their name. Now, if in case you want to cancel your arrest warrant, you have to purchase these tax payment card from the US Treasury authorized stores. I will be guiding you step by step which all store you have to go. Now, the thing is, here. Hello? Okay, yeah, I'm here. I'm listening. Yeah. Now, the thing is, here, the store from the I own a farm. The See, the thing is, I own, I own a store, farm. Yeah, they so will only you're gonna... accept. They'll only accept. They will only accept this. They will only accept this kind of amount in cash, okay, for you to purchase a tax payment card. So, like, how far is your bank from where exactly you are right now? 
Um, about 10 minutes away. Okay, because uh, the thing is here, you have to first of all go to your bank, okay, withdraw this amount in cash, and then I will be exactly guiding you step by step which all store you need to go, and how you have to purchase a tax payment card, because once you purchase a tax payment card, you have to mail these tax payment cards to the IRS headquarters office, that is in Washington, D.C., where yeah, your payment right. is going to be accepted. All right? Uh, so, like, how much time it will take for you to leave for your bank right now? Um, well, I, I got I to gotta finish and put the, put the animals back in the, the barn. I have to finish putting the animals back in the barn. Like, how and, much time it will take for you to do that? Um... Uh, maybe like 10 minutes here I gotta because I can't let them roam free or else they're gonna get okay. hit by a car because uh, now the thing is your seat listen to me very carefully okay before you go somewhere now the moment you sit in your car okay start driving towards your van okay I will be in a position to send an email to the investigating officer okay to stop wherever they are because I don't want them to arrest you while you are on your way to get this matter resolved okay, okay alright so now, you have to stay connected right now. And then how much time it will take for you to... Uh, right, well, I got the, I got, like, you know, I got the uh, goats I got the goats back in, back in the pen. So while we've been talking here. Sorry? I said I got the goats back in the pen while we've been talking. I just got to move the cows. Hold on. Okay, so once you move... You, okay, so just Wait a minute, make only sure take me a second. and it is connection, okay? No, hold on. Only take me a minute. Come on, guys. Get in okay. there. Come on, move it. Come on, move it. All right, guys. All right. Uh, now that I got, just got to deal with the chickens, but the chickens can stay out. All right, so I got to um go down to the bank now. What? Can't I do? Can't I okay. just pay over the okay, internet? Uh, can't uh, I pay over the internet hello? or something? Yes, I'm here. Okay, so. Are you free or like, uh, are you ready to leave for your bank or like, have you gathered your stuff? Well, your no, I just gotta go back in everything? the house. I just have to go back in the house. Your okay. voice is not clear. Okay, so you can go go inside the house, okay? Gather okay. your back stuff. Once you sit in your car, okay. first let me know before you start driving, okay? Because I need to give you some information. So, go inside the house first of all, get, gather your stuff. Once you are ready to uh, leave, just let me know. And is your cell phone fully charged first of all? Y yes. And do you have a car charger with you, if in case? A car charger? Um, uh, yeah, I just that's got it. Right. Yeah, that's already in my car. Okay, it's, it's in your car, right? Yeah. So I would really appreciate, okay, you can uh, first of all gather your stuff as quick as you can because, see, the time limit is very less, okay, and we uh, have to complete the procedure as quick as we can so that we can cancel your arrest warrant. So... Just go inside the house, gather your bank right, stuff, I'm doing and that let me right know once you sit in your car, okay? I'm doing I can it stay as online for a moment. I'm doing it as we speak. Oh, okay. So let me know once you're ready to leave, okay? All right. Are you there? Yeah, hold on. I'm getting my keys and stuff. Hold on. Okay, all right, all right. Just let me know once you sit in your car, okay? Yeah, hold on. Take me a minute. Oh, jeez. Are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Hold on, I'm getting in my car now. Okay, all right. All right. So let me know once you sit in your car. Don't start driving. I need to talk to you something, okay, first. Did you, uh, have you gathered your bank stuff, yeah, your debit I'm... card, credit card, every single thing? I just got in my car now. Okay, can you please honk your horn? Honk my horn? That's right. Can you please honk your horn? Why would you want All right. To honk so, my uh, horn? are you there? Yeah. I'm Hello. Just, I'm just leaving now. Yeah. Okay. 
Now, where do you want me to go? Again, where do you, where do you uh, want me to go? Hold on, I'll stop at the hello? end of my street. Wait a minute. Okay. I'm at the end of my street. Where so am I have you started driving now? Yeah, I'm going to my bank. Okay. Now, uh, what I'll do is, okay, I'll send an email right now to the investigating officers, the on-field officers, to uh, put your case on hold because I don't want them to arrest you while you're on your way to get this thing resolved, okay? Now, the thing is here, once you are the bank parking lot, don't directly go inside the bank. I need to talk to you first of all, okay? And then you will be going inside the bank. So once you park your car, first let me know. Okay. Hello? Yeah. yeah. So have you started driving now? Yeah, I'm driving right now. I'm going to my bank. You can't hear, my car's loud. Okay. Yeah, because just because you're not on a Bluetooth, so I am I was not able to hear whether you were driving or not right now, okay? So uh, anyways, just drive safely and just let me know once you're at the bank parking lot. Don't directly go inside the bank, first I need to talk to you. So I'll just send an email right now to the offices, okay? Oh, okay, I can't talk to you while I'm driving. Okay, no issues, just drive safe. Sir, are you still there? I just want to make sure you're still there. I'm still. Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. Just drive safely and once, like how far, like, like how far I right. Like maybe right two exactly. more minutes. There's no traffic. There's no traffic. Maybe two minutes. Sorry? I said there's no traffic. Maybe two minutes. Uh, okay, so uh, as I've said to you, you don't have to directly go inside the bank, okay? Once you park your car, sit inside the car and let me know, okay? Once you park your car, first let me know. Don't directly go inside the bank. I need to give you some instructions, okay? That's what he said. Okay. Yep.
Alright, sir, I'm pulling in now. Hello? Hello, sir, are you there? Hello? Oh my goodness, sir, are you there? Hello? 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 Oh, good. I lost yeah, you for a minute, so I just, I just pulled into the parking lot. Okay. So oh, have you man. reached the parking lot right now? Yeah, I just shut off my car. Hello? Yeah, hello? Okay. Now, okay. Now, students sell a car, okay? Uh, like, are you, are you in a better reception because your voice is going in and out again and again? It's, it's, I'm in a bad... And, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm in, I'm in a bad area. The reception here is not good. Okay. I'm trying. Okay. Now, I would really appreciate it. Okay, just sit inside the car right now, okay? Don't go. Don't get outside, okay? I need to give some instructions, okay? Okay. Hello? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Yes, yes. Now, just sit inside the car, okay? Yeah, yeah. Just sit inside the car, okay? I'll just put out your case papers. Just hold the line. All right? Okay. And I hope you remember the amount, right? Or should I provide you the amount again? $6,381.50. Exactly. That's right. All right? Right. So just, uh, sit, all right? And I'll just exactly let you know what you need to do, okay? Because I have to just inform the on-field officers uh, that you have reached the bank right now, okay? Okay. So that they will be putting your case on hold, okay? Just sit inside the car. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So that, so that the parking lot. Don't go inside, okay? I Thank won't. you. Hold the line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, are you there? Yes. Okay, hold on. All right, I'm just, I have just get a, got an email right now by the officers that they have put your case on hold, okay? So no need to worry about it, okay? Now, uh, just hold the line. All right, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you fine. All right, uh, no problem. Like, I've just received a message uh, from the IRS commissioner stating that, that you are about to withdraw the funds from the bank. And, like, do you think the uh, bankers might ask you for what reason you want to withdraw such kind of an amount? Because, uh, as I mentioned about the rules and regulations to you earlier, like, if you uh, well, disclose or involve any third party into the situation. I don't know where you're from, but no, banks don't ask questions like that i understand see it's your bank your your account basically it's your money you can withdraw at any given time it's yeah. just that in case if they may ask you you just need to tell them uh like it's for your personal use or maybe like i don't think so they will ask you but only in case if they may ask you just uh tell them that this is towards your personal use or for your medical expenses okay that is the first thing well, I'm not and gonna, second, i'm not gonna lie uh, like yeah, before it's, you, a, it's against my religion to I, lie but i'm not gonna I, no one's gonna ask me any questions I, I can withdraw money if i want nobody asks questions it's nobody's business no problem whose business is it of no theirs what and, i do with my money you know it's my money i understand Yes, I understand that. No problem. And before you walk in, like, I just need an exact zip code at your bank so that by the time you're withdrawing the funds, I'll try and find the nearest authorized store in the nearby location to your bank where you can go and purchase the tax payment card for. So what what exactly the zip code at your bank yeah, is right uh, now? 36104. 36104. Yes. All right, uh, no problem. So you can walk inside the bank, carry your cell phone along with you. Uh, do you, uh, you know the amount which needs to be withdrawn, correct? Yes, $6,381.50. Okay. okay, perfect. So one, uh, you can go inside the bank now. Once you are at, uh, at the cashier point, you can call in with the cashier. Just uh, make sure you stay connected and hold the cell phone in your hand. Once you withdraw the funds, oh, come outside and a, let me know. So I have you on a Bluetooth. I, I you're in my ear. I it's a for, the for, microphone's perfect. in my then, ear. Then I don't carry the for, the phone's in my pocket. 
perfect it's perfectly fine not a problem so once the withdrawal is done come out there and let me know okay by the time i'll just try and find the nearest authorized store in your location all right all right, all right i'm going in now no problem <sighs> what the heck? How you doing, ma'am? Yeah. Chrissy, how you doing? Oh, not bad. Good day. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So I'm out of the bank now. Hello? Yes. It wasn't busy. All right. So I I have the $6,381.50. You withdraw the funds in form of I'm sorry? Hello? Yes. Yes, you withdraw the funds in form of cash, right? Yes, all crisp $100 bills for the government. No, I'm still not getting it. Are you in a bank or outside the bank? I just left the bank. It was not busy at all. There was nobody in there. I got the money. It was very easy. I know them. They're friendly with okay, me. Okay, you got the money already. Yeah, $6,381.50. Right, uh, $6, Okay, not a problem. So I'll just give you the address. Like, are you in your car? I need to give you the address uh, to the nearest authorized store in your location. No, I'm getting in my car now. No problem. So should I give you the address? Well, yeah. Where, where do I have to go? What, uh, what IRS, what IRS right. branch do I have to go to? No, no, you don't have to go to any IRS branch. You need to go to the United States Treasury Authorized Store where you can purchase the tax payment card. United States Treasury and, Store. And you need to complete the validation against the tax payment card and you have to mail this card to the IRS headquarters in a certified form by going to the postal services. But in order to complete the whole procedure, we need to follow the steps and the procedure which I am explaining you, we need to follow it step by step. And in order to purchase, the first step is to purchase the tax payment card. So in order to purchase such type of a card, you need to go to the Walmart Supercenter 1, which is in H51 and Street Montgomery. Like how far is uh, Walmart that's, Supercenter from you? That's Are like, you aware of any Walmart? That's like right down the street, two minutes from my bank. It's right here. I'm like two, two, sh two shopping centers over. Okay, not a problem. So once you park your car at the Walmart, you can start heading towards Walmart. 
just uh, let me know and be seated in your car right, because hope. before you walk into all right i'm leaving now i'm sorry exactly you're gonna get it and from where you're gonna get it from these stores can I you hear me yes i'm leaving the wall i'm leaving i'm sorry i'm leaving the bank right now Yes, no problem. Once you park your car at the Walmart Supercenter, just let me know. All right. All right. Alright, sir, I'm pulling in now. No problem. Once you park your car, just let me know. Alright, hold on. No problem. Okay, sir. Hold on. I gotta, just got to park my car. Wait a minute. You parked your car, correct? No, no, not yet. Hold on. No problem. Hold on. No problem. Okay, so I'm parked. Okay, perfect. Uh, now, can you just take off your Bluetooth? Because I don't know, there is some sound disturbance coming. I cannot hear your voice clearly. Take out my Bluetooth? Oh, I'm afraid that'll disconnect. Yeah, are you in a good recession? Because I cannot hear you clearly. Um, I don't. Problem. I don't know what to tell you. My area is really bad. I got really bad phone service. I got the shitty. I got the shitty phone service from I don't know where it's from India or something like that. I don't know. From where? It's from India, Terry Makachute. I've been scamming you the whole time, Matachode. You fucking Ben Chode. I've been scamming you, motherfucker. Ha ha ha, you piece of shit. I've been scamming you. Can Hello? you hear that? Can you hear that, motherfucker? Marachode, you Ben We also understand. We also know. Teddy Makachute, bullshit. Know. I got you. You're a fool. You're a fool. I got you. One hour. One hour I got you. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> All right, guys. I knew it. I knew it was you guys. I knew it was you guys. Let's see if they'll pick up. I'm calling back. Let me call them back. 
What a bunch of fucking pieces of shit. But we knew. We knew. We knew. Come on, answer. You're sorry. No one is currently available to take your call. Leave your message at the tone. Press pound when That's finished. so funny. You're a piece of shit. Yeah, you are. Yes, you are a piece of shit. And I got you. I got you back. I got you, little fucking maggot. I got you. And I hope you call me. I hope you call me someday so we can talk. You got my number, you piece of shit. You got my number. All right, hope you enjoyed it. It was a little long, drawn-out call, but we got him, and we wasted a bunch of his time. Fire RTC is down today, guys, so um, this is all I can do is give you kind of a long call, so it's something to listen to. And if Fire RTC comes up again, I will stream. All right, everybody. Um, yeah, and you kind of saw what I was doing here with the sound effects. I hope you enjoyed that. So, uh, yeah, and then sub to all these people over here. Malcolm, DVR, Nightmare on Scam Street, me, Saddle, George's Survivor Man now, Captain Corrosive, Scammer Slammer TV, and many mores. Many mores, I sound like them. So, uh, yeah, enjoy all your fun on YouTuber land, and, um, yeah, uh, and uh, treat everybody the way you want to be treated, and life will be good. Bye.